we give him all of the glory and praise. Yeah. We just thank God today. Amen. So much. How he loves us. We thank God for the ones that uh, watch the YouTube and live streaming and the ones that are here with us. We just thank God so much. I mean, every day he does something different. Amen. Yes, he does. Just to show you that how much he loves you. And some of us don't even recognize it. Oh my God, my God. If you just lay in the bed and thank God for a few minutes. And then you just shut up for a few minutes. And then let him talk to you. Oh my God. What wonders. He worked in our lives. Have you ever had your family say, I did never know yes. that you're going to be like this? Yes. Matter of fact, you need to know. Yes. I know I should be. I didn't never think I'd be going back to a church. Like the way a brother with my dad and mama drew me to church. But I thank God. I can stand his, I thank God that he took everything away from me. Yeah. 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 He showed me where I need to be. Uh, so when the meal barrel gets a little mad, that's why I don't worry. Because he did it then, he did do it again. Uh, Y'all are here with this song. That's right. That's right. He's a good guy. That's right. Hey, mom, I want to preach a little bit. <laughs> That's all right. Testify while you have a chance. Amen. Amen. I just get. Amen. We just thank God for this day. We thank God for the being the head of our lives and the love of our soul and the master of our minds. We just thank him so much. I don't even have in my vocabulary to, to really thank him like I should. Lord, have mercy. For all that he has done. Lord, have mercy. That's why I serve him like I do. Uh, to these preachers, amen, on the pulpit, amen, sitting on the first row, all out in the uh, on YouTube and Radio Land, to God be the go away. To all my brothers and sisters in Christ, and to this great crowd of witnesses, we thank God. We just thank God so much. Amen. So many of y'all, I'm glad to see. Amen. Brother Sean, you in my prayer. Amen. You in my prayer, Doc. Amen. You bring them praying to God that one day you're going to come running with you, what I will do to be saved. Amen. Amen. I believe you're already saved. You just need to come on. Amen. 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 Yeah. Oh. Jesus. Glory to God. We're going to go on and. I'm going to let you all out as soon as I can. This word has really gotten to me. Let's go to the book of Acts, the fourth chapter. The book of Acts. I'm not going to go through the whole fourth chapter. But I want you all, when you get a chance, if you're at home and you'll leave here, go for it. Do you have it? The fourth chapter. I'm going to start at that first verse. If you don't have it, say, hold on, preacher. Acts 4, verse 4. The fourth chapter. Fourth chapter, back. Perfect. Okay. Amen. 
You have it? John while they were speaking to the people. They were greatly disturbed because the apostles were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They sized Peter and John and because it was evening, they put them in jail until the next day. But many who heard the message believed, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. Let's go to the seventh verse. They had Peter and John brought before them and began to question them. By what power or what name did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, somebody say Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. said to them, rulers and elders of the people, if we are being called to account today for an act of kindness shown to a cripple and are asked how he was healed, now y'all listen to this. Then know this. You and all the people of Israel. He said that. He, he ain't getting smart. But he want everybody to know. It is about the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead, that this man stand before you healed. He is the stone you builders rejected, which become the cornerstone or the capstone. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. Amen. That's the end of the reading of the word of God. Come on, There's man. much more to come. Amen. With the permission of the Holy Spirit. I want to talk from the subject. Change the game before the game change you. Change the game before the game change you. Y'all got those weapons, don't you? Y'all, y'all thought I forgot. Y'all got those weapons. Just hold them up in the air. Yeah, hold them up. I don't like no handcuffed gun. Hold them up. That's right. Yeah, my God. This is the living word of God. I can be what he says I can be. Because I stand on his promise. Yes, and you all we give God some praise in his name. Oh my God, my God. I was here yesterday and so many was touching my subject here today. I wanted to tell them, but I said, no, Lord, let me hold my peace. <laughs> uh, but change the game. Before the game change you. See, see, you, you got to be careful who you deal with and the people you deal with. Because you can be holy today and you with the wrong people. They will persuade you to come on their side. Huh? If you're not really rooted and grounded in the word of God, uh, they will make it seem so obvious that I really, really, really know him. But they don't. Come on, somebody. But if you know the word of God, come on now. You got to take a stand. Yes. Change the game. Change that game. And let them know that our Savior is still here. Oh, come on, somebody. 
I know you all remember sometime you didn't want to go to the nightclub, but your friend kept calling and said, come on. Come on, come on, come on. We, we, we going to the club and we going to party tonight, girl. Come on, brother. We, 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 we going to find us somebody. So you don't fail for the game. Uh, y'all don't have to talk to me. Come on, now. See, that's the world inside of it. But the spiritual side is, uh, Reverend Cooper, it's some game still be played in the church. Uh, everybody don't know Jesus. Everybody shot don't know Jesus. Come on, somebody. Everybody got a necktie on a suit it and got these clothes on don't know him. But I recommend him not. Come on, somebody. Uh, here, I'm so glad that these men knew there was a game being played. But then later on in the text here, you're going to see they changed the game. See, here in that first chapter of, of, of the book of Acts, uh, Jesus was on his way to glory. But before he went, he sat down and had a talk with the disciples. He taught them for 40 days. Come on, somebody. Telling them about life and what to do. But one day, Dickie Hill grabbed me. He, he told them, look here, don't leave Jerusalem. Until you be endowed with power. You got to stay here and receive the gift uh, that my father had promised. So I stopped out to tell you this morning, you can't move too fast. You got to stand still and wait to God say something. Uh, in the second chapter here, uh, that's when the day of the Pentecost, uh, when the Holy Ghost came, or the Holy Spirit. Now, I, I want you to watch this because I don't want you to miss it. See, the Bible said that Peter and the eleven stood up. The same fisherman, the same one that cut the man ill, the same man that ran when they said before the, the rooster crowed three times. Y'all know? Some people said, I'm going to lie to Peter, but uh, I'm not called Peter no liar because when you're scared, you're just scared. Uh, we'll run now with somebody come in with a ooze. We will have to call somebody to uh, uh, put the back door on if they come through the front door. Y'all have to say, man, I know. But one thing about it is the Bible said that he stood and started talking and telling the word of God. Come on, somebody. But one thing about it is if you look, they were together. It could be the one speaking, but the other level was standing up. So the people saw, together as we stand, and divided we will fall. Uh, and, and that's the day that the Spirit of God fell on. Oh my God. So I, I, I stopped here for a second. I my word to tell the people, you can without the Holy Spirit. You, you can't make it. Your good looks, uh, your money, your, 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 your little knowledge, you won't make it. You will need the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you. But the third 
tried to, uh, there was a beggar sitting by the temple. Peter and John began to talk to him. But he was on the way in the temple. Come on, somebody. I'm on the third chapter, I'm going to the fourth. And the beggar was sitting there every day, begging. Ah, uh, but the, the Holy Spirit yeah. makes a difference yeah. when it speaks through you. Y'all yeah. hear yeah. me? Yeah. The man looked at him. Uh, but it was something about the, the rage of, of Peter and John. Uh -huh. Have you ever looked at somebody and then let that, that glow? It was just, uh, uh, just like secretary of the horse who uh, ready to go. Yeah. Uh -huh. They looked at that man and said, silly gold. Yeah. Somebody know it. Yeah. But sometimes, hey, give an idea. <laughs> Told the man to stand up. Uh -huh. Not on Peter and John's turn, uh -huh. but on Jesus' turn. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. Yes. So we can never forget whoever we talking to and teaching and laying hand. They got if Jesus, the Christ, is not in it, don't put your hands on. If you're going out there on your own and you don't have the Holy Spirit, stay home. Stay home. Because you could be walking into a danger zone. But I'm reminded. There was a man in the Bible. Give God some sight. Well, they had hands on people and giving sight. Jesus told them to say, leave them alone. Leave them alone. <laughs> but when he got to the glory, I knew you not. But because there's a power in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Sometimes he can use a sinner. To tell the saints. Because there's power. Come on, I feel it now. I feel it. So you can't tell me that if a drunk come up in. See, some of y'all would say, you can't tell me nothing. You just miss your blessing. Mm -mm. 
It's a big difference there. And, 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 and see, the Sadducees were members of a small but powerful Jewish religion that did not believe in the resurrection of the dead. They were the religious leaders who stood to gain financially by cooperating with the Romans. See, some people don't care as long as their name stay in the limelight. They don't care if you go to heaven or hell. As long as that name is not moved. But if you're a child of God, every now and then, your name gonna be moved. Because when you live for Jesus Christ, he said, the world hated you. They gonna hate you too. And I found out the more you get closer to God, the more obstacles and more dislike you won't be. Y'all don't hear me? Change the game before the game change you. Mm. But I, I stop out to tell you, I'm so glad about Peter and John. See, see the thing about it is that we as leaders and preachers and pastors and apostles or whatever you got the title with, you got to be ready. Because somebody can go downtown and take a warrant out on me today. Say, I offended them. Come on, somebody. But I don't care if they go down there and see Judge Judy. If God said so, I'll stand in the court and repeat it. Come on, somebody. I'm not going to bag down on God's word. Because when I was hungry, you didn't help me. When I didn't have no money, you didn't give me none. When I was sick, you didn't heal me. So why should I back down on somebody that picked me up, put my feet on solid ground, and you think I'm going to back up for you? I don't hardly think so. Uh -huh. But the Bible said that they, saw, they see Peter and John uh -huh. because they get late in the evening. Uh -huh. See, people got a way yeah. of trying to shake you up. Yeah. Come on, somebody. But when the Holy Ghost got you, right, right. God from Zion. Right. You know what I found out in there? When a person filled with the Holy Ghost, don't give them a couple of minutes away from them. They let the Holy Ghost deal with them. They'll come back with much more than he had before. Because the Bible said, hey, you keep your mouth closed and I'll speak for you. See, y'all don't hear me. See, they put Peter and John in jail. Those boys had all night long to sit there and think and pray. And listen to the Lord. Right. Come on, somebody. Right. Uh -huh. But the thing about it is, see, the Sadducees thought they were slick. Right. They moved quickly right. to investigate. Right. Because they did, not, they did not believe in the reservation. See, they were disturbed with the apostle yeah. what they were saying. Uh -huh. But the next morning, all the big wheels, uh -huh. the heavy hills, the big times came together. The same ones, preacher Grant, that had just crucified. The same ones. Oh. I wish I could preach like I feel. Now the Holy Spirit. You all sit around with the same people that some of them are crucified. But look at here. They brought Peter and John in. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and they started asking them a question. What authority? What power? Mm -hmm. Who? Told you to do it. Gave you the 
permission. And who are you talking about? He was filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah. What do you think that? Then they said Peter pulled out no knife now. Then they even said Peter act like he was scared. Because the Holy Ghost. Oh, my God, that's it, that's it. Had that boy. Yeah. So Peter killed with the Holy Spirit said to them, ruling the elders of the people. If we are being called out, he said, account. Have you ever been called out? Oh my God. He said, today for the kindness that we have done for this crippled man. Now they, 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 they trying to find fault on their boys because they told them about the resurrection. And the Bible said, I, I, I believe there was 5,000 men. Yeah, yeah. In my application, Bible, it said there were 5,000 men, not even counting the women and the children. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. See, you see what happened? I want y'all to read it. Look, what happened was when they started preaching under the unction of the Holy Ghost, uh -huh. and they lift Jesus up, yeah. what did he say? If I be lifted, I'll drop. He drew them 5,000 people. Plus. Woo. Come on, somebody. If we would come in St. Judah and stop sitting down like a knot on a log and give God what due to him, we should have to be on the pulpit and say, come on, praise God. You should be dancing in the house even before the praise you ought to be giving God some thanks because you walked in. Not only because you walked in, because you woke up. Come on, come on. Change the game before the game. Change the game. But I like here. See, the thing about it is, Peter, here, going to flip the script. Oh, the Sadducees and the priests. Uh -huh. He said, then know this. I can imagine how it sounded when Peter said, you and all the people. In other words, we will say, let me tell all of you. Let me tell all of you. Uh, it is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whom you call crucified. See, he's flipping the ship now. He's telling them, look here, you are the one that killed me. Because if you hadn't killed them, there wouldn't have been no resurrection. Ah, but since you killed them, there is a resurrection. And, and, and now, that stone has become the cornerstone. And I stop by to tell you, every building. Got some corners. Uh -huh. uh, come on, somebody. Come on, uh, I wish I had some cement layers in here. Uh, come on, come uh, on. See, those corners are connected. That's right. That's right. If those corners were connected, the building cannot stand. Right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. See, those corners join together. Yeah. That's like a foundation. Come on, somebody. And Jesus is our cornerstone. Come on, somebody. Had it been for Jesus, no trap would have been formed. Y'all don't hear me? Oh, my God. We wouldn't have been here today. Uh, but look at here. The Bible said salvation is found in no one else. Uh, for there is no other name. Lord have mercy. Can I say that one more time? For there is no other name on the hill that's given to men which must be saved. I'm so glad that all these filthy rich men oh, couldn't save me. Because if they could, they would take it away. But I'm so glad that Jesus of the cross 
God from Zion. When he's saved, take no body, take him away from me. Come on, somebody walk with me. Am I right about it? If you say, you ought to be happy. Yeah, Lord. I'm so glad. Yeah, that I'm saved today. Because I was too mean to that. And wasn't fit to live. Come on, somebody. But one day, one day, I had a man was preaching. And the sermon was, can I get somebody to help me live? Jesus? Come on, somebody. We put that 200 back. 